Okay, so what we're trying to do, Junior, is to get you from slow rotation, slow stroke rate, up to good rotation, fast stroke rate. So you have the rotation, but we want to keep it as we get faster. So we're now going to progress to the next step. And there we go, six kicks on our side, and we take three strokes, not fast, but with excellent rotation, bringing the shoulder back to vertical each time. After the third stroke, you go back on your side for six kicks, making sure you're here on your side, and then take three in a row. Not going too fast on the strokes, but making sure you get really good rotation, okay? In backstroke and in freestyle, body rotation is perhaps the most underappreciated and least understood technique to gain propulsive power. Along with the arm recovery, the quick rotation of the body during the arm pull is one of the two coupling motions that increases power and speed in backstroke. The additional power is not about how far you rotate the body, but how fast. The coupling energy of the body rotation is related to its angular velocity squared. In other words, by snapping the body quickly from side to side, you will derive much more power than by turning it slowly, no matter how far. Okay, now we progressed. We've gotten drag reduced by getting your head back, bending your elbows. We've gotten more power by rotating the body. And now comes the most important part. And of all the things I've told you, or I will tell you in backstroke, the three most important things to me in backstroke are stroke rate, stroke rate, and stroke rate. Number one, two, and three. In other words, you can have everything perfect, but if you're turning over slow, you're not going to win. You have to get the arms moving fast. There is no hip-driven backstroke. It's virtually all shoulder-driven, which means it's fast. So how do we teach you to do that? Well, we're going to start with the same drill you just did, which is six kicks on your side. But this time, instead of taking three long, slow strokes with rotation, we're going to take three fast strokes with rotation. So it's six kicks, three fast strokes, back to six kicks. Okay, we're going to start to generate arm speed now. The six kick three stroke drill should be performed slowly at first to ensure that the body rotates well, then perform fast to increase the body rotational and arm recovery speeds. This progressive technique is one of the best ways to understand the power of body rotation. World champion Junior Koga uses his strong core to increase his stroke rate significantly on the three successive arm strokes, but he doesn't sacrifice any body rotation in the process. The additional speed in which he rotates the body and recovers the arms overhead results in Junior having substantially more power on his pull and kick and leads to a much faster swim. 